Hey y'all, it's Lori here at Beauty Where You Find It. We are still in the beauty bathroom. I'm gonna live in truth. The beauty closet is kind of a disaster right now. I probably need to try and work on cleaning that out if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but we are here to do something that I probably should not be able to do this far into quarantine. And that is a TJ Maxx haul. Now before anyone comes after me, there is not a TJ Maxx open in my city, like nothing of the sort. I went to TJ Maxx probably two months ago, three months ago, not three months ago, two months ago. <laughs> and I have this really bad habit of buying stuff that like I get excited about and I'll tie the bag up, leave it in the bag and think, oh, I'm going to show you guys and try it out. And then I don't. So this is my last TJ Maxx haul before quarantine and we're going to check it out see what deals that I got I'm actually really excited about the things that I got and I was like why haven't I tried these yet <laughs> okay so there are kind of themes I'm gonna try and go with the brands that go together and so we will start with I have a list over here that's what I'm looking at you guys totally professional um, the first is uh, the La Mercier glow powder brush has like its shape has an interesting shape on it. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys. Okay, there it goes. So, has that fun shape. It's supposed to like go with the creases of your face um, as a powder brush. I do a lot of like with powder, so I'm not sure how reasonable that is, but y'all, it is so soft. It is really soft. Um, this brush usually retails for $38. I found it on the Sephora website. I got it for $7.99. You probably can't see that. Sorry, the light keeps changing. $7.99. That's a big savings, y'all. Next, another La Mercier find is the La Mercier uh, Caviar Intense Eye Set. So this is, opening it, sorry. It's actually still wrapped up, which I really like because I feel like at TJ Maxx it can be questionable as to has someone touched the product. Oh, that's empty, just kidding. Threw it down. I love this little wrapping. Reminds me of like a beauty list package because they wrap in like black tissue paper. All right. Here we go. So it is an eye color. Um, in the shade Rose Gold Caviar Stick Eye Color. And then also a mascara. And I have never tried either of these products before from Laura Mercier. So I am very excited. The next so one. this set retails for $25. It's on the box. Um, I did find it on the Sephora website still for $25. And I paid $10.99. So not too bad. Next is the La Mercier um, Artist Eyelash Curler. And I will be honest, I just needed an eyelash curler. And I saw it and I was like, sweet, it's really not that expensive. It's basically what I would pay for a regular eyelash curler. Um, it is like a fun kind of bronze. It's not gold, but it's interesting. Anyway, the little, the extra head fell off. I'll pick it up later. Um, these retail for $22 on Sephora and I got it for $4.99. I mean, that's what I would pay at Walmart for like a, not, a no name brand. I don't know if it makes a difference. An eyelash curler is an eyelash curler. Kind of, right? So we'll see. I'm excited to try those though. Next we have, let's do, this is the Becca. Love Skin Weightless Blur Foundation in the shade Linen. Um, it's weird how that color changes, y'all. You know I'm still working this out. Um, I'm very excited to try this. I have never tried a Becca foundation before. And the fact that they did have it in, I almost said my size, y'all, in my tone, um, or what I think will be my tone, is very exciting. So once I get through some more of the foundations I'm trying, I'm going to be using the Becca. It is retailing for $44 on Sephora and I paid 
$8.99, y'all. It is rare that you will go and find your color at TJ Maxx or that somebody won't have touched it or opened it and it's squirted just everywhere. But when you find it, it's a good find. Okay, um, next is the Lorac Buildable Buildable Bronzing Powder. I don't know why that's so funny, y'all. Um, so I thought I could use this as a contour um, and bronzer for the summer because it is coming. The sun is out. It's already super hot in Florida. Um, it is $32 on the Macy's website and on the Lorac website, and I paid $5.99. That's a good deal. All right, next we have uh, my last two things. They are from Dr. Jart. The first is the Dr. Jart Sikia Repair, Sikia Repair, Derma Green Solution, the Tiger Grass Green. And on Sephora, this is retailing for $48 and I paid $19.99, so like a little more than half off. Also, I opened it up because I want to look at it. And I mean, here it is. It's the repair cream, you know, very exciting. And then I heard something else, and I was like, what? What is in this box? And this came out, and I was like, what is this? Am I planting something? Am I smearing it on my face with this metal thing? No, y'all. <laughs> this tube is metal, and this is a key so that you can turn and squeeze down. Now I did read a review that said probably don't use the key until you're pretty far down because it kind of constantly applies that, applies that pressure so it's going to push out more than you need but I just thought I'm, I'm impressed with little things and I just thought that that was cool. I've never had a product that required a key. I hope that there's more in the future. Last but never least because y'all are going to get to see me use this because I'm excited to see how bad I can mess it up, is the Dr. Jart Shake Shot. Y'all, it's so cute. It looks like a little cup until you turn it and it's a face. <laughs> like a face. Um, so this is the Rubber Hydra Mask. It does say don't drink it. Don't do it, you, you guys. Um, but I'm going to, in another video, attempt to make and wear this, and we're going to see how that goes. Because there's, like, basically science happening. I mean, there's, like, instructions and, like, things you're supposed to be doing. So, um, this retails for $12 at Sephora, and I got it for $5.99. So, about half. So, that's it. I didn't do the math because that would have been smart to plan for this video on how much money I saved, but I am going to put it somewhere, probably here in this area, maybe. I'm just watching the light change now, which is super. Okay, sorry, y'all. <laughs> so that's it. TJ Maxx hauls are fun. I hope everybody gets to do one relatively soon if we get out of all of this quarantine safely but be safe wear a mask even if they do open up your state um if i upload this and the quarantine is way past what is my hair doing y'all um i apologize for bringing up bad memories but that's where we are so that's it that was my last tj maxx haul before quarantine and now i found it and i'm gonna <laughs> use the things so tj maxx for beauty finds it, it's a yes y'all <laughs>